Good morning, everyone. It's Miss Kathy here at Sturgis Public Library. I think I got a minute before I, it's 10 o'clock, but I'm gonna start with reminding you today is Tuesday, because I have to remind myself. Today is Tuesday, it is February, what is the date? 16th, it's Tuesday, February 16th. We had a couple of holidays. Sunday was Valentine's Day. Did you get to say, I love you? Or give a hug? Or blow a kiss? Or kiss somebody on Valentine's Day? If you were in toddler, if you watched toddler story time last week, we learned those different sign languages to do on Valentine's Day. And then yesterday was a holiday for the library. It was President's Day and the library was closed. President's Day is a fun day to be able to think about um, the person that runs our country, the president. It's actually, February is a month of two of our past president's birthdays. It's George Washington's birthday in February and it's Abraham Lincoln's birthday in February. So they combine them as one day to celebrate President's Day. And you know, we have a new president this year. We had an election in November and our new president, do you know his name? It's President Biden. We have a new president called President Biden. So we could give him good wishes on President's Day because you know what? I don't think I'd want the job of president. There's way too many things that go on in that job that I wouldn't know how to deal with. So good for them that want to be president. And today, like I said, today is Tuesday, February 16th. And I believe it's 10 o'clock. So we're gonna start with our preschool story time. And I always start with a song to open it with. And we're going to do the Zoom, Zoom, Zoom song. Remember I changed the words to it to make it my own song to start story time. It goes like this. Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Let's start our story time. Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. We'll sing and play and rhyme. If you want to come along, Join me as we start the countdown. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Let's start our story time in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! And we're gonna start our story time today going back to the beginning of the month of February. There was a special day to celebrate some special people back on Thursday, February 4th. And I wanted to make sure we celebrate these people today because Thursday, February 4th was thank a mailman day. And mailmen are pretty special to me because I like to have the mailman or the mailwoman, the mail carrier, bring me fun stuff in the mail. You can get lots of fun letters, cards, packages, and things in the mail. But how does it get to your house? It has to come, somebody has to bring it to you. And that's the mailman. And mail mail is kind of special to me too because one of my high school friends delivers mail back in the town where I grew up. And my younger sister is a mail carrier. Well, not just a mail carrier. She works in the post office in a town in Iowa. And they're very special to me. And I want them to know that I thank them for doing the jobs they do. So we're going to start thanking our mail carriers with a song. And look at this mail carrier. This is definitely someone who is delivering mail in the summertime. Look at that, they're wearing shorts, no coat. They're delivering the mail. Summertime might be a good time to deliver mail. They would not be dressed like this today. Even though we are finally starting to get warmer, it was still eight below, eight degrees below zero at my house this morning. The mailman is not going to be dressed like that. And the mailman delivers the mail in cold and snow and rain and hail and hot, hot summers. The mailman's a pretty spectacular person. So here is our song. I'm gonna look. Oh, Dolores is watching. Good morning, Dolores. Okay, our song goes like this. I have to get the tune in my head. It's the tune of my bonnie lies over the ocean. But the words go like this. Oh, I'm a little mail carrier delivering mail to your door. I bring you letters. Oops, 
can't read that one. And postcards. Look at this. We got a postcard in the mail. And magazines. Ooh, look at the magazine about sharks. Parcels, boxes, things you've ordered that come in the mail. And more. Mail, 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 mail. I bring the mail to your door, door, door. Mail, 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 mail. I bring you letters and more. I'm going to do this song again, but I'm not going to hold up the props this time because they kind of got in the way of my song. So here's how it goes. One more time. Oh, I'm a little mail carrier delivering mail to your door. I bring you letters and postcards magazines, parcels, and more. Mail, 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 mail. I bring the mail to your door, door, door. Mail, 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 mail. I bring you letters and more. Oh, and the mail person is such a fun person to see at the door. But how do you get the mail? Do you get the mail at your house? Do you have a mailbox outside your house that the mail person can put all the mail in? Or do you have a mailbox? Like I live out in the country, so my mailbox is out by the road and I have to walk out to my mailbox to get it. Some people don't have that. Some people have a mailbox in the post office and they have to go to the post office to get their mail. How do you get your mail at your house? Well. I lost my train of thought. Also, who gives you this mail? I mean, not who brings you the mail, but who writes you letters? How do you get letters? Who is it that's sending letters? You have to write letters to people to be able to send them so they get mail, fun mail at their house. So my next song is going to be about writing letters. Have you ever written a letter to someone? Maybe at Christmas time when you got presents, you sent a thank you note to someone. So you wrote out a little note and sent it in the mail to them, addressed just to them. So our next song is going to be about getting letters. But you are writing the letters. I have five little letters. So we have to count them, so I'm gonna put them on the board. Here's one. Here's number two. Here's number three. Here's number four. And letter number five. These are five letters that you or I could have written. And now the mail person is going to put them in their bag and they're gonna take them to the people we wrote the letters to. So our poem, our rhyme goes like this. Five little letters, not one more. I mailed one to grandma. We're gonna send it off to grandma. And that left one, two, three, four. Four little letters written by me. I mailed one to grandpa. Let's send this one to grandpa. And that left how many letters? One, two, three. Three little letters in envelopes new. I mailed one to auntie. Do you have an aunt that you would mail a letter to? There it goes. And that left how many letters? One, two. Two little letters adding stamps was fun. I mailed one to uncle and that left how many letters? We have one. One little letter. My work is almost done. I mailed it to my best friend and that left none. All those letters I wrote 
are now mailed in the mailman's pouch for him to take to all of my friends' house. My grandpa's house, my grandma's house, my auntie's house, my uncle's house, my best friend's house. And they're gonna be so excited when they go to the mailbox and see that there is mail from you. Oh, I got a message. Lincoln, hello, and his cousin Riker? Hi, Lincoln, hi, Riker, I'm glad you're here today. Do you ever get mail in your mailbox just for you? It's not always just letters. Sometimes, like I said in the first song, it's magazines. Although they don't make many magazines anymore that they mail out, they like to do them online. And boxes, it's so much fun to get boxes in the mail, especially when you've ordered something or maybe you're not expecting it and somebody sends you a present. <gasps> See? Mail is fun and we have to have somebody that will send the mail out to us. I'm so glad we have thank a mailman day. Well, we are going to, I'm gonna turn my board around because I need the other side. I didn't have a flannel for this one, so I'm using the whiteboard. Let's see, I think I have to back it up quite a ways. Because we are going to do a little game with delivering mail. If you were here, if you were here in the library with me, you would get to get the envelopes and bring them. You would be the mailman, bringing the envelopes up here to the houses where they belong. We are going to, here's my mail truck. There he is, he's right there at the post office. He's getting all of his mail in there. And there are lots of letters. We have a letter for our library friend. I'm going to do a song, and then we are going to pick the envelope and see if we can find out which house it goes to. Because when you write a letter, how does the mailman know where it goes? You have to put a person's address on it, and that address is the place where they live. So then the mailman knows where to take that letter. Okay, here's how the song goes. I'm a little letter folded up tucked in an envelope a stamp on top the mailman takes me from the mailbox he delivers me to the right address well i'm gonna bring this one up closer because this one oops where is it at <laughs> i have to keep it where i can see it this letter is sent to my library friend who lives at 246 color lane in sturgis now that's not a real address, I made it up. But over here are houses, and we have to find the house that is at 246 Color Lane. Well, when I look at my board, I have White Bird, I have Rainbow, and down here I have Color. So these houses are on White Bird, these houses are on Rainbow, these houses down here are on Color. And it says it goes to number 246 Color Lane. Well, if I bring this house up here, do you see the address? It says 135 Color Lane. Will my envelope go there if it says 246? No. So my envelope's not going to go to that house. Let's look at this house on Color Lane. It says, do you see the mailbox? <gasps> 246 Color Lane. And my envelope says 246 Color Lane. So guess what? I'm gonna put my house back down here on Color Lane and I'm gonna deliver this letter to my library friend at 246 Color Lane. <gasps> you helped me get it to the right place. Thank you. Well, here's another one. Let's see. I'm a little letter folded up, tucked in an envelope, a stamp on top. The mailman takes me from the mailbox. He delivers me to the right address. Let me see, can I get it up there where you can see it? Gotta get it right there. This one goes to my library friend at 12 Rainbow Road. Number 12, 12 Rainbow Road. There's White, White Bird Road. Color Road, Rainbow Road. So it's gonna go to one of these two houses. And the number on there is 12, number 12. Let's see, 
Let's take this house. Do you see? Oh, look at that! On the mailbox right there, it says 12 Rainbow Road. And my envelope says 12 Rainbow Road. So let's put my house back. And let's deliver this letter to my library friend at 12 Rainbow Road. We've delivered two letters to the right places. <gasps> Good job. Let's see. I'm a little letter folded up, tucked in an envelope, a stamp on top. The mailman takes me from the mailbox. He delivers me to the right address. This one is going to my library friend at 135 Color Lane. <gasps> We've delivered to Color Lane before. Remember where it's at? There's White Bird, there's Rainbow, there's Color Lane. I have to take it to the house that is number 135. Well, guess what? There's only two houses on there. That one's already got a mail, a letter delivered. Does this one say 135 Color Lane? Yes, that's the number on the mailbox. So my letter is going to this house, right there on Color Lane. <gasps> Good job, mail carriers. You have delivered one, two, three letters to the correct places. I have three more letters. Let's see where they belong. I'm gonna try a different one, this one. I'm a little letter folded up, tucked in an envelope, a stamp on top. The mailman takes me from the mailbox. He delivers me to the right address. This time our address is library friend at 34 Rainbow Road. Oh. We're going back to Rainbow Road. There's White Bird, there's Color, there's Rainbow. Do you see there are one, two houses on Rainbow Road? I wonder if number 34 Rainbow Road is this house. Let's see. Does the mailbox say? Yes. It matches. I don't know if you can see that. 34 Rainbow Road, 34 Rainbow Road, Let's deliver this envelope, this letter, to that house. Oh my goodness, we have one, two, three, four letters delivered to their correct houses. I still have two more houses to deliver letters to. Let's see. I'm a little letter folded up, tucked in an envelope, a stamp on top. The mailman takes me from the mailbox. He delivers me to the right address. Well, you know what? We have this letter from my library friend that goes to number two, White Bird Street. And we have this letter, whoops, that goes to my library friend at number four, White Bird Street. They're going to the same street. They're both going to White Bird Street, but one is going to house number two and one is going to house number four. So let's see. I'm gonna bring this house over. It says number two, White Bird Street on this house. So shall I give them this letter, number two, White Bird House or White Bird Street, or shall I put number four? White Bird Street at this house. Shall I do number four? Does it say number four on there? No, I don't want to put that letter there. If I put that letter there, it's at the wrong house. It's not going to the right place. This one, number two, White Bird Street. We'll go to the house, number two, White Bird Street. Let's put you right there. That means here is house number four, White Bird Street. An envelope, how can I do this? <laughs> Number four, White Bird Street. I am going to take this letter to this house. And now all of my mail has been delivered to the correct houses. And how many letters did we send? 
one, two, three, four, five, six. We sent out six letters. And you are such great mail carriers because you got them to the right house. Now, like I said, if you'd have been here with me in person, you would have got to bring the, the mail up to the houses. But thank you for helping me doing it through the magic of video. All righty. Let's see. I have to look back at my sheet again. What is next? Because I know my, my next song. Oh, we're going to do one more song thanking our mail carriers. So let me get my mailman back over here again. It's not just men, it's also women that carry the mail. Because like I said, my best, one of my friends from high school, Kim, she delivers mail. And my sister, Steph, she works at a post office. Sometimes she delivers the mail. So it's not just boys, it's girls that can also be mail carriers. So I really shouldn't just call them ma mail man because it's mail man, mail woman. Don't call them mail carriers. All right, we have one more song to thank our mail carriers. Even though we missed their official day, on February 4th, we can still sing it to him today. This time it's a Christmas tune. It's up on the housetop that I'm gonna change the words to. I bring the mail most every day. Who has sent a card your way? I pick up mail that must go to. Handling mail is what I do. Rain or snow, I'm on the go. Letters for you, magazines too. Let me get my magazine. I bring the most, I bring the most every day. What did you get in the mail today? You'll have to look in your mailbox and see. Did you get any mail today? Maybe you got a letter, maybe you got a cart, maybe you got a bill. Ugh, bills are no fun. Maybe there will be nothing in your mailbox. Maybe it's a day that they don't have anything, but you know what? They had the day off yesterday, so I know they're gonna have Monday and Tuesday's mail to bring to your house. There will be something. It might even be a newspaper. I never even brought out a newspaper. They can deliver the newspaper to you too, so you know what's going on in the world and in your town. Okay, well, I have some books here at the library. I don't have many about mailmen or mail, but there's one about mail carriers. You can look inside and see what else do they do? Do they just deliver packages and things to your door? Here's one called, where does the mail go? Look at, they're dropping a letter in an outdoor mailbox, a drop box. What happens to it once you put it in your mail, in your mailbox? It has to go to the post office and do some things first before it gets to where it's going. Here comes the mail. That's another book that will tell you. When you write a letter, what happens to it? If you take it to the post office and put it in the mail slot, then what happens to it? What if it's not going into your town? What if it's going to another town, a whole other state? And then there's this fun one, mail trucks. Have you ever wondered what the inside of a mail truck looks like? I have wondered. I think it would be kind of fun to see. Before we had mail trucks and post offices, way back before they even had cars, they still sent mail. They have, we have a book that tells about the May, mule train mail. Mule, I can't even say that. Mule train mail. Before there were official post offices, how did people get letters to their friends? There's a mule train one. Or you might know about the Pony Express. The Pony Express riders that would take mail, ride through from town to town. Here's another one about Pony Express. Which do you think you'd like to be? Do you think you'd like to be a mail carrier today? Or would you have liked to have been a mail carrier with the Pony Express days? Just some fun books I would have here at the library that you can check out and read if you want to know more about mail. And I've been looking on YouTube for some fun stories. So on your sheet that you'll get in your grab and go bag, I list 
those books I have here at the library. But also, go on YouTube and find It Came in the Mail. You will be surprised at what they got in their mailbox. It's not something I would want to get in my mailbox. And then there's one called Never Mail an Elephant by Mike Thaler. Could you mail an elephant? I don't think that would work very well. Mail Trucks, Busy Day. That was a really cute board book. Talking about how you deliver mail from the mail trucks perspective. And of course, my favorite, Millie waits for the mail. Millie is a cow. <laughs> and Millie scares the mailman. It was my favorite. I hope you'll go on YouTube and see if you can find some of those stories. Now today, in your grab-and-go bag, besides your sheet with our songs and our books, there's the craft. It's a real simple one. I want you to send some mail to someone. So you're going to find a piece of paper. Blank on one side. On the other side, it has a place for you to write the address of who you are sending it to. Are you going to send it to grandma? Maybe you want to send a postcard to your aunt. Maybe you want to send a postcard to your friend. You'll write their address on there. I'm going to put a stamp on it so you will have a stamp on there. Oh, my eyeballs crying. Oh, cold weather. I'll put a stamp on there so it'll be ready to go. Because if you don't put a stamp on the mail, they can't mail it. It costs money to send mail, so we have to put a stamp on there. Here is where you can write a message. If you want to write a message to your friend. Now, you don't want to send them a blank card. Draw a picture. Draw a picture of something. Maybe, like, it's my mom's birthday this week. I could do happy birthday and draw balloons. So I could get out my colors. And maybe I'm gonna draw a balloon. Let's see, can I get over here to the board? Bring my board closer. Maybe I'll draw a balloon up in this corner. And maybe I'll draw another balloon over in this corner. And then I'm gonna write on there, happy birthday, mom. I'd put happy birthday. I'm sorry, I'm not looking at you. Oops, I spelled birthday wrong. Mom! And then I want to give her a heart. <laughs> I can decorate up the front of my card. Happy birthday, Mom. I'll do a little more better decorating, coloring. Maybe I'll add some flowers to it. It's my mom's birthday. I could send her this surprise birthday postcard in the mail. She'll love it. You will have your own blank card that you can draw a picture on and send to somebody. Then, let's see. Oh, losing my sheet. I also tell you some more fun things you could do. Have you ever thought about doing a mail obstacle course? It says, organize an obstacle course throughout which children must transport a letter or a package to its final destination without dropping it. Simply set up a tunnel or hula hoops to jump in and out of, a balance beam to walk across. Think of all the fun things you could do. Keep the physical capacities to the children, keep the physical capacities of the children in your group in mind. So when you're setting this up, maybe you want to go under the table and crawl over top of the chairs while you're holding a letter or a package or something one-handed. Can you do that without dropping it? But don't make it too hard that you can't do it. Maybe you have to walk across the living room only stepping on blankets. Set out some blankets. 
see if you could come up with a fun obstacle course. Could you carry your mail? Maybe you're doing it one-handed. Could you carry that through an obstacle course without dropping it? Test yourself. Or there's mail rally or I spy. It's kind of cold. The one says to go outside and take a walk around your neighborhood and look for mailboxes. See what kind of mailboxes your neighbors have. Well, don't go out there today when it's this cold. Wait till it gets warm. Take a walk around the up around your neighborhood and see, does everybody have a mailbox at their house? Count how many mailboxes there are. Do they all look the same or do they look different? And then I spy, when you are out, maybe you're taking brothers and sisters to school or maybe you're going to the post office to deliver something or maybe you're going shopping, you have to go to the grocery store. Keep your eyes open and see. Do you find, do you see a mail carrier out delivering the mail? Do you see a mail truck driving around or maybe they're parked while they're delivering the mail? Wave at the mail person and say, thank you. Go on an I spy hunt and see if you can find the mail trucks and the mail carriers. Oh, I'm so glad I got to go back and celebrate our thank a mailman day. And I hope you have enjoyed doing some mail things with me. It's time for me to go, so it's time for our goodbye song. And let's see, I always forget to bring the words with me and I'm afraid I'm gonna forget how it goes. But I think I can do it. Do you think you can do it with me? See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. Thanks for joining me today. Stay warm and I'll see you later. Bye.